Good afternoon, everyone. This is Compost Chicken Queens Plus. In this case, plus a part two um, of the video I started. This is the one of the every, Forever bottles. I put, hold on a second, I'm gonna put this on. I put, look through the magic of TV, uh, editing. I put uh, about that much of this into that bottle and fill the rest with water and what you have is a spray bottle where you can use it this is the dish detergent i'm sure this is for later i'll show you that where you can now this is blood and that's not going to be easy with one hand but you can focus your spray which this is actually a liquid lawn, this liquid dish detergent with a similar viscosity to this, but with completely different ingredients. This stuff has hormone disruptors, also called endocrine disruptors, uh, and a bunch of other serious issues with it. This does not. I can show you the ingredients. I'm going to put this on pause so I can peel the label. Where is it? Right there. Peel the label right there. Put it on pause so I can, uh, well, maybe I can just do it with one hand. And open it so you can read the ingredients. That's another thing. You don't get to read the ingredients on those ones. But this, you do. So, here we go. Pretty benign. Sodium lauryl sulfate is a cell membrane disruptor, so not the greatest. You don't want to wash your bits with it, your lady bits or your man bits with it, but it breaks up, um, well, it breaks open cells, so, yeah, but it's the only one that's in there that's bad, that I can tell. Anyways, that's that, that's a little, you get to read the ingredients, and then the other part, I forgot to show everyone what's in the cute little bag, and what it is, is cute little sheep. Not real sheep, folks, but real wool from real sheep. And because a real wool, real real sheep in here would be cruel to the sheep. But what they are is a bag of three little dryer balls. So cute! Look at that. Like that. And these were on sale, I believe. This that also comes with. Hold on. Put this on pause. Again. I should really be more organized, but I'm not, with this, which is a limited edition Ultra Power Plus <coughs> laundry detergent. It normally comes in a bag, it's a, I think, two kilo, or sorry, two pound bag, something like that. I don't have it with me. You can look on their website. And uh, this is lavender scented, which is pretty cool. Um, and again, as I mentioned in another video, I'm not too keen on it, uh, although it, I did read the ingredients. It is the last ingredient, or one of the last ingredients, which means that there's very little lavender in it, as uh, lavender is a hormone disruptor as well, particularly to men. Uh, but again, last ingredient, so probably very little in it uh, overall. And let's see if I can reverse the ingredients on this. Mm, well, here is some opportunity to read. Not sure if there, oh there is the lift the lid. Lift the lift the flap so you can read the ingredients. And here are the ingredients. You can also see these on their website. They're very transparent about what they have in their products. And um, I can't speak for anyone who has allergies, but because I don't have this kind of I don't have allergies. But I would imagine because you can read those ingredients, you can find out for yourself. Again, unlike the stuff like Tide and other things where you can't tell what their ingredients are, you have to take their word for it, uh, that they're not harmful, which a lot of them are. That's a whole other video um, about how absolutely obnoxious some of the ingredients are in a lot of these common common uh, detergents and laundry soaps and fabric softeners and fabric sheets, especially in the, like the fabric softeners and sheets are absolutely free.
freaking toxic. Um, you can find on e on YouTube uh, pretty comprehensive videos on how absolutely appallingly bad the ingredients are in the fabric softeners and fabric sheets. I just it blow your mind. Anyway, so these are the cute little dry balls. Uh, there's two sets. One is going in the other uh, apartments and that will cut down on the drying time. You can add your favorite essential oil to them. Uh, somebody in one of the Norwex uh, videos, an independent, not the company itself, but one of their consultants, mentioned probably accurately that the best for best results you put the you dry the clothes with the dryer balls but then put the temperature to cold or cool then put the essential oils on them and then throw them in the dryer because apparently heat will damage the essential oils i don't know if that's true or not it doesn't sound like it's wrong um i've used i like i really love um tea tree oil particularly from a company called Malaluka, which is a similar uh, company to this. Uh, and I didn't know that. I put it in hot, um, in the hot dryer, uh, as it is, here's a, here's a cool little factoid. Tea tree oil helps kill mold and mildew. So if you have any items that you really are loath to uh, get rid of because there's a mold and mildew st uh, smell, one of the things you can do, a couple of things you can do, is put that item in a cloth bag or a paper bag, not plastic, has to be breathable, and then put it in the freezer for a long time or put it outside in some place that's not going to get wet and leave it in there for a week or so. Ideally, you could probably put it in there a week. You can minimally probably put it in 24 hours or so and that will kill the mold and mildew. Uh, and if the smell is still there, you put a couple drops of essential tea tree oil in there, essential oils of tea tree oil, and it will kill the smell. Uh, I believe tea tree oil is also something that lice do not like, so for the same reason you can, or for, you know, with the same ingredients, you can also kill lice that way as, uh, with the combination of heat and the tea tree oil. I don't have any tea tree oil here to show you, um, but you can get it in a lot of places, including Costco has a pretty good deal and Melaleuca has a good oil um, and yeah so again here's the spray bottle and you can go like that I'm really awkward using one hand but you get the idea you can focus your spray onto something else and it will it's much more fun than watching somebody go <coughs> and putting a whole bunch of that in there when it's not necessary this is about that much of this which is cut really thick it's a lot thicker than that actually and uh, like that and then the water and this makes foam which is great these are the everything sorry the forever bottles you can use them for just about anything there is also a pump version so you can use it for hand soap uh, I have bought one of those they're really good and as is as the as is the hand soap um, so yeah, it's a great thing. Oh, as a little trick, what I have done is I put a, a couple squirts of laundry detergent, or in this case, I've also used the powder, though not, I haven't tried this yet, and the micro uh, microfiber cleaning cloth powder that comes in a similar container to this, but it put water in it, shook it up, and then when I want to actually clean out something that's very filthy beyond just putting water in it and I don't want to throw it in the wash I don't want to do it right now but I will spray it all over this squirt it and rub it and wash it under the water and that comes out really clean it saves you the the uh, hassle of having to wait for the laundry machine to get done with it and you get a pretty decently clean cloth that way much quicker oh, oh. So good, depending on how dirty, it could take up to 10 minutes even to clean it. They hold a lot, a lot of dirt. It's impressive how much dirt they clean, they grab. <coughs> Anyways, if you like what you see, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, 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 sharing is caring. And I wish everyone a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and night, wherever and wherever, wherever, whenever, and whomever you are. Stay awesome, stay adventurous. Stay safe. Mm. Better yet, stay strong. 
Oh yeah. 